week is Vinca Rosea. Guys, this is completely an under-celebrated annual. I am literally obsessed with this plant for a summer annual, and in particular, I love this trailing Vinca. Now the Vinca Rosea comes in two forms. There's an upright version, but there's also this trailing version, which is just so beautiful. It is literally a cascade of flowers all summer long. Here's the reason that this is such a good plant of the week for the summer. When other plants are starting to look a little bit sad in this heat and this humidity, Vinca rosea is thriving. It literally loves this heat and it will be filled with abundant blooms all the way from the summer into the fall. So it will carry you all the way into those fall months. I want to show you an example of the upright Vinca. Here I've got two different colors in this planter. I've got papaya and I have tangerine. And I love the way that this planter will take us right into the fall because we're planting in midsummer, so it'll be nice to have something that'll last for us on our front stoop. Um, here, I combined it with coleus, and then I also combined it with this kind of neat auburn color of cordyline. And I really think that this makes a lovely container. These blooms will go all season, really low maintenance. But what I really want to talk about is my obsession. I'm totally obsessed with these trailing vinca. I don't know, there's something like out of a fairy book or something. And I even think that these little flowers remind me of little strawberry plants. They're just so sweet. So I want to plant up this really cute hanging planter just so we can really bring out the trailing effect of this trailing vinca. In here, I've already added some glacier ivy, which will also enhance the trailing part of the vinca. And then I also, you know me, I like to shake it up a little bit, do something a little different. I added an herb in here. So this is lavender, but I think the blue-green foliage and the upright structure of it is really good to go with this trailing vinca. Because remember what I talk about, a filler, a spiller, and a thriller. So this is kind of acting as our filler. And actually we've got the thriller with these abundant blooms of the vinca, and then we've got the spiller of the ivy. So let's add a little bit more in here. This is another glacier ivy that I want to put on the side. Of course, remember, gardening is messy, guys. That's what makes it so fun. So we're going to add this so we get a little trailer coming off the corner of this. And then we're going to add one more of the glacier ivy. Here's the thing that is so great about this vinca. It is a very low maintenance plant. It thrives in heat and it thrives in the drought. So easy for this time of the year. Midsummer for us, but like I said, it'll bloom all the way into the fall. So you don't have to just enjoy it for those summer months. The other thing that's nice about Vinca is that it's actually self-shedding. You don't have to actually deadhead it, which is perfect for us busy gardeners. You know how hard that can be to get out and deadhead your plants. I am adding Mediterranean Strawberry Vinca. That's the one that I just added here. And then this is Mediterranean Peach. I love this one. I have to say, I think this is my favorite one, but all of them are really, really so pretty. So like I said, it is self-shedding. You do not have to deadhead it. And also it's very low maintenance as far as its fertilization goes. It's a really good idea to start out with a slow release fertilizer. I actually already incorporated that into this container. And then you can follow up with a fish and seaweed, which is awesome for any plants in the hot summer months because the kelp adds moisture to those plants and really, really helps them thrive. So I just want to show you how this gorgeous trailing effect of this vinca combined with the ivy, a little bit of lavender in the back. You can hang this even from a tree or you can hang this from the side of your house. This vinca would love full sun, but it can also handle some part shade. It can actually do quite well in that environment. So vinca rosea, upright and trailing, definitely an excellent summer annual plant of the week. Thanks so much. See you next time.